FIFA on the PlayStation Vita is impressive and disappointing at the same time. It's impressive that you could run a game looking like this in 2011. Having a PS3 looking game in your pocket was a big deal back then. Problem is, just like many Vita games, it's all looks and impressions, but when you get to the bottom of it, most of the games are slight ripoffs or real ripoffs like Ridge Racer is. For the Vita, four FIFA games were released. It all started with FIFA Soccer. It was a nice game. It has some stutters here and there, but hey, you could play this beast on the go. It was a reskin of FIFA 11, but without some of the features. You still get a handful of game modes like exhibition matches, exhibition matches where you can be any player on the field or a goalkeeper, you can create your own tournament, your own player with which you don't really play with but his in the virtual pro game mode where you have challenges and if you complete those challenges you unlock customization options like new hairstyles and stuff like that. And you also get a career mode, the game is solid, also you get some Vita specific stuff too. You can play the game like you would on a console, but you also can use the touchscreen to pass the ball to other players, or you can use the back touchpad to aim your shots. The game is solid and fun, but beware that if you already have a copy of the game, it's not worth buying any other copy. You know why? Because every version is essentially the same, they just have a different paint job. The rosters are updated, but in rest, it's the very same game. And this time it's not like on mainstream consoles, that each game is very similar to its predecessors but is only slightly better, becoming significantly better if you compare the games after some years. No. This time they are exactly the same. There is no slight difference between the games. The passing isn't tweaked, nor the graphics, nor the performance, only the paint job is different. I guess that's why fans started making their own copies of the game after EA stopped releasing FIFA on the Vita. There are only 4 official FIFA games, FIFA Soccer, FIFA 13, 14 and 15, and the rest, like for example FIFA 19 here, is a fan made game, and looks just about like an official release. You know why? Because EA would have done the same thing, change the menus and the names of the players. Oh and about the multiplayer. FIFA 15 doesn't have one, but the others don't have one either, even if multiplayer appears in the menu. You know why? Because the servers are down. What you remain with is a solid experience of soccer that has potential to become even better, but the developers ditched the project. Still, any of the games are fun to play, and it's nice to have by you when you travel or just want to play something quick. The base game is still FIFA and it's incredibly enjoyable. The games are disappointing only when you compare them one to another. Because in Rust, if you didn't knew how the other FIFA games were and you played only one, you would say that the game is amazing. Ok, so this was the video. If you liked it, please hit the like button and subscribe. If you want to financially support me in my pursuit to review as many video games as possible, you can do that on Patreon or on the channel's membership section. You will help me a lot. If you want, you can follow me on Twitch, Instagram or Discord. And if you want to see another video of mine, just wait till I stop talking and terribly thumbnails of other videos I've made. Thanks for watching.